What's going on to you Aquarius out there? Hope y'all are having a great day. Look, there's a link in the comment section below called a Linktree link. Click on it. It will redirect you to a website which has all the ways to be able to financially support the channel so I can most definitely keep the show going. Also too, please make sure to go ahead and smash that like button. It really does help the channel grow. Uh, you know, you can help me out in that way just in case, you know, it's free. So I just want to say thank you to everybody that came through. Thank, thank you to everybody that will come through in the future. I know I have a lot of Aquarius followers. Shout outs to y'all, yo. Y'all are holding it down. So look, you Aquarius have the Queen of Swords, the Ace of Pentacles, and then you Aquarius have the King of Wands here. All right. Let me show it to you. So let me see. Okay, boom, it just went ahead and smacked me. <laughs> Instantaneously, I knew what it is that I was, uh, I needed to talk about what I was gonna talk about. So the Queen of Swords, the Ace of Pentacles, and the King of Wands, right, represents, some of you Aquarius may have been hanging around some people who were very entitled. The King of Swords and the Ace of Pentacles represents, you were reluctant to give anything to anyone right because um you are very much so aware of relationships and how awkward they are and how others just want to get other people to serve and, and, and call themselves trying to serve uh themselves by trying to get you to serve them so but a lot of you aquarius decided to actually um reach out and try to make some form of a connection anyway. And the thing about it is that the King of Wands is what it is that you have met. You Aquarius were trying to get to know somebody, right, recently, and this person turned out to be the King of Wands. They turned out to be a jerk, especially in this reading. As we continue to move forward in the reading, this person turned out to be a jerk. They are a jerk because here you are, right? Let me show you all three of the cards. Here you are offering value to them. And here they are being like, well, so? I'm still not going to treat you well. I'm still going to treat you like trash, right? And and they really carried on with that type of mentality. Here they are trying to now, you know, they're not respecting you. They're running game. You know, it, you know the relationship doesn't seem like it's anything secured. It's not actually, you don't feel secure with this. You don't. You know, this person isn't calling you. They're not putting in any kind of effort. And the person, how you gain security is when someone is actually putting in effort. See, you again, you got a lot of weirdos out there and it's getting weirder and weirder. Very weird. You're having a lot of people say a lot of crazy things on the internet. And not only saying it, but showing their face and like they're expecting to get some sort of clout out of it. And it's like, no, you don't understand that people are observing this messed up mentality and behavior. People are doing case studies on you. You understand what I'm saying? So while it is that those individuals that represents this King of Wands, regardless of who it is, regardless of whoever it is that you into, what you're into, they don't seem to understand that it, it, it it's not anymore where like those type of people are being studied, like I said before. They don't know it. They may not even care, but they don't realize that they're really being studied. And this is why they're being looked at like something is wrong with them because there is. You know, they're, they're getting onto the internet or even in your own life, they are interacting with you in a way where it is they're interacting with you in a way where they're not respecting you. They're doing all types of craziness. And now a lot of you Aquarius really starting to see the depths of the craziness of, of what it is that I've been talking about for, for, for a year or two, or maybe, you know what I'm saying? For like two, three years, these people are crazy. These people really got some real issues for real, deep, profound issues. They don't understand what's going on. They're easily influenced. They're incompetent. 
They don't really bring a whole lot of value to the table. And we'll get into it because you, Aquarius, was the one bringing the value to the table all along with this person. And it was just some and it, it wasn't even someone that you were talking to for a while. It could have been someone that you were talking to for a short period of time. But this is exactly what it is that I'm talking about. People who have value, valuable people bring value to the table immediately. It doesn't, you know, a very short period of time. It doesn't take 5, 10, 10, you know, 5, 10, 15, 20 months. You understand what I'm saying? For a person to bring value to the table. This is what I mean when I say that valuable people, people who actually have the, the mentality, the mindset to give back in the first place, it's not it's not a keeping score game. It's not about I bring so much value to the table that I am gonna hold and withhold everything that I need to withhold, and I'm gonna withhold so much that way I'm able to not give you anything. You understand what I'm saying? You have to actually work for me to give you stuff because what I bring to the table is so valuable and is so earnest and honest and so pure that it will grace your life forever for 10,000 lifetimes. It's like, what delusion are they really dealing with? And, and, and the thing is that you really started to see that because the Page of Swords and the Knight of Swords represents, it's always a, it was always a back and forth. This is what had you really see how delusional these people that represent the King of Wands was. You, Aquarius, was able to really understand that these people are not the high quality individuals that that is capable of really building a relationship. They tear relationships down. And you, Aquarius, really started to understand within this, right? I mean, a lot of you, Aquarius, started to understand the differences but you started, but now you Aquarius are starting to understand what I'm talking about, the specific, the detailed differences, what it actually looks like in detail when a person is willing to bring value to you versus when a person is not willing to bring value to you. When a person brings value to you, they actually do it. See, a lot of times people try to make everything so transactional. You actually get a dopamine rush. You feel good. And this is a natural dopamine rush. Not from any kind of substances, just yourself. You actually get, a, and this is backed by science. Anybody can challenge me on it to show you the evidence. Y'all know I got the proof. But it's actually, it makes you feel good to be generous. Generosity is actually a part of the equity, the exchange of taking and giving so whenever it is that you see someone that all it is that they want to do is take right they only want to be that means that by definition they are a parasite which means that they can't be trusted which means that the there there's something in them that's broken where they don't understand that generosity actually comes from a matter of the heart right when you when you are generous, you actually release feel good chemicals in your natural feel good chemicals in your body like serotonin and dopamine that actually make you feel good to be generous. Right. So you have to. So when someone has that mentality now of all it is that they want to do is take. You have to understand the psyche that goes along with it, the mindset. These people are crazy. And then when you begin to understand the, the psyche that goes along with it, you Aquarius now can now break it down and examine it even further. And this is why it is that I say that you Aquarius and none of the zodiac signs over here on my channel who's striving to really become to That's such a high powered car, yo. They be out here. They be out here. That be on some fast and the furious type stuff out here, fam. They be fixing their cars up to try to make it go faster with more control. I, I be seeing it. I be seeing it from the window, from my window. I be seeing it when I go outside, right? Watching them 
fix their cars. They be having some high powered cars. But anyway, and, they, and and a lot of them are cool people too. I actually know them. But um, you know, they you know, they say what up to me, I say what up to them and stuff like this, ask them how it is. And they live in the neighborhood. But anyway, um, so this is what I'm talking about. And and none of the zodiac signs that are over here on my channel should be out here getting really so caught up with the the the, the self degradation of dysfunctional people, you know. And and the thing is that the nine of pentacles and the eight of cups represents what it is that I'm talking about. You Aquarius was able to actually understand how crazy that was. You have way, the nine of pentacles, you have way more self-value than this. You have more self-respect. So you Aquarius was able, this didn't, this connection did not last very long. This was a brief connection that you have had recently because <laughs> this wasn't something that you Aquarius was like, okay, you're proud of because it couldn't last that long because this person was so out of their mind. It was jarring. It was, it was noticeable. It was. You know, they, you know, it's not something that they could have been slick about and blended into normal, acceptable, right, cultural behavior where you didn't see, oh, okay, there's nothing wrong with this. No, that's how crazy they were. You, I mean, immediately as you Aquarius was trying to get to know them, you brought in value immediately. They wasn't calling. They wasn't reaching out. The, the things that they would say and do sounds crazy. And the thing is that the Eight of Cups now is you had to leave that alone. You had to leave because you're better off not being with them in the first place. You're looking for someone that can actually bring you that level of camaraderie, right? You don't, you're not alone, even though you're in a relationship. You're not alone where even when you, you know what I mean? Like, the person is actually making themselves present in the relationship. And it's not like the husk is there as far as their body is concerned. But at the same time, even though their physical body is there, right? Their physical body is there. It's just about them just there. And then they just have the mentality of, come on, you're supposed to benefit me. You're supposed to actually bring more value to me. You're supposed to show me the value that you're bringing, Aquarius. Don't have me just be wasting my time getting to know you and spending my time in this relationship. So now the thing about it is the seven of wands, right? And the, so now the seven of wands is all about how the seven of wands is all about how you looking for the real thing. And like it is, I said before, the seven of wands, you're willing to do the work. So a lot of you Aquarius gain knowledge even when you didn't have to and what i mean when i say you gain knowledge i'm talking about from the perspective of you aquarius you you now understand that you now understand that there's a lot of crazies out here there's a lot of people who really they they're they got real issues they're they're looking like they don't respect the very same they 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 don't respect the very same people that that they act like they want they want someone they're not willing to to value and bring any kind of value to the table for someone else they're not willing to value the other person that's there they're not willing to bring anything that has value to the table they want someone to serve them while they're sit while they sit back and do nothing while at the same time deep down they don't respect the person because how could this person have a mentality to want to just give them everything so this is what i'm talking about it's a crossing it's a it's a hegelian dialectic right it's a hegelian dialectic where it's like it's intellectually dishonest it's like okay you saying you want this and you do want that but at the same time it's like what you know what i'm saying the way that you actually go about when you interact or the way that you react to this person giving you everything that you said that you want is this and it's like the intellectual dishonesty because nobody wants to be, everybody wants to be tough everybody wants to be seen like they gangster 
No, you know, they don't want to come out and say that they want someone that has love for them that can can kind of, you know, in a in a, you know, kind of gathering it all together, making it neat, be romantic without having to, you know, ask for romanticism all the time. Asking for romanticism should kind of be the outlier, right? Every now and again, you may have to ask for it because maybe the person isn't the most romantic, but but average, generally speaking, they want someone that's romantic. But this is where the intellectual dishonesty is. This is where the intellectual dishonesty is because it's, it's very much so a situation where it's like, they don't, you know what I mean? They they don't want to come clean and even make it realistic. That's their that's their mindset. So now the four of wands now and the lovers is about how, but that's their problem, Aquarius. That's not your problem. The four of wands and the lovers, you, Aquarius, got to be with somebody that actually is intellectually honest, that is good at communication, that, that you know, good at communication with, the things that they say and also the things that they do. Because what you do is also a form of communication. You know, this is why Mercury, Gemini, Virgo, right? Lovers in the major arcana is ruled over by Gemini. This is why it's so important. Because if, if you don't have a successful, if you don't have things figured out about yourself, Aquarius, right? If a person doesn't have things figured out about themselves, they will be like a Gemini, a lower functioning Gemini, where the Gemini is at odds with themselves internally and externally. But then if they do have a cohesive connection with themselves, their spirituality, which is themselves and their health and everything, they can actually show you value. So in other words, it's saying that the four of wands and the lovers Things won't work right in a relationship unless the person actually loves themselves and values themselves and sees the importance in being generous. That general, like it's not meant to be transactional. Does, do, do you do things for the other person? And does the other person do things for you? Yes, but it is not transactional because it's something that you want to do. It's not something that you are obligated to do. It's, that's not it. An See, what makes it transactional is an obligation. What makes it transactional is when somebody goes, I'll go ahead, I'll go ahead and, and, and pay for this, but you need to give this service. What makes it transactional is when you go into the store. You do not have a relationship with this person you do not have a connection with this person, but the money on the table represents a connection that the two of you do not have, but you can potentially build in the, in the future. This is why it is that you get store credit. When you are a repeat customer in the store, you can take something and you go, hey, if y'all have a good relationship, you and the person running the store or owning the store, you can say, hey, give me credit and pay it back where other customers do not have that privilege. They do not have that luxury. The money is supposed to represent the trust that the two of you are building upon. So it goes from transactional. Yes, you got to come out to pay the money and do something for somebody. And then now you build up the trust so much to the point where it's not necessarily transactional anymore. It's not really transactional. This is some. This is a service that you want to come out because you're both sides are getting value. But at the same time, they're both willing to not be so harsh. They're willing to be lenient with one another. This is why, Aquarius, this is why it is that you got to stop hanging out with people who can't reach and go past that level of transactionalism. Once they, they can't, once you, Aquarius, observe that they got problems of, even if they play stupid, even if you explain this to them and they're like, what? It's a dub. Because those are the people who, they can't, they, they, nah. <laughs> nah, nah. They, they are stuck. And if they don't get themselves unstuck, 
they're always, like I said before, in a Kabbalistic tree, everything that is transactional is below the three, the top three, which is B Abina is on the left, Chokma is on the right, in the middle or in the highest point or the head is Kether. Everything underneath Bina or Bina, Chokma, and Kether, right, being the crown, right, everything below that is transactional. But see, Bina and Chokma is where you get a person who understands that they're not just doing things transactionally. Bina, Chokma, Kether, they understand that there's a spiritual element connected to it as well. So you Aquarius can't take people seriously who who are the king of cups, excuse me, king of wands. You can't take these people seriously. They're they're crazy. And anyone that even dares to act like they don't know what it is that you're talking about and who cannot practice it and pay it forward, those are the people that you need, you, you, especially if they're saying that they're going to be in a relationship or they want to be in one and they're not even, and you Aquarius observe that you're talking to them for a while and they're not even willing to actually learn how to get to that higher level where there are no levels, where there are no more transactional relationships. It's just about building up on top of love. You're trying to create that system where the two of you can actually build trust. It's not transaction anymore. Whenever, whoever it is that you pay the money to, that's not even transactional, regardless of whether you have a relationship with them or not is irrelevant. You're, try, you're going to this, you're paying this brand new shop or whatever, or wherever it is that you buy, because you're actually hoping to build that relationship with them. So let's clarify the lovers. And and what I'm observe what I am observing is you still have a lot of people out here who are not they're 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 see this is what I'm trying to say they're dumb because in see logical intelligence cuts off at a certain point logical intelligence cuts off at book smarts at see experiential intelligence or or street smarts or or experience comes from matters of what the heart. It's not, a, this is why it is that I say that over, this is why it is that I said that emotionalism is not an indication of intelligence. Logic is not an indication of intelligence. You need both. Too emotional, self-destructive. Destru you will break all your toys. Too logical, you, you, everything is transactional. You, you can't think past a certain point. Your, your, your mindset and your mentality is too linear. So let's clarify the lovers. You have the Ace of Pentacles, the Ace of Swords, the Two of Wands, the Two of Swords, and then you have the King of Cups. Yes, being too logical and transactional cuts you off from being truly intelligent or wise. This is why you got Aquarius. This is why you got This is why things are so difficult for you when it comes to love. You got a lot of stupid people out here. Like, people be so stupid. You know what I'm saying? Like, people... <laughs> like, when you trying to get in love, Aquarius, people be so stupid. These would be grown-ups who don't understand the art of reciprocation and why that's important. You know what I'm saying? But then they want a relationship. And, like, they, they got the, the crazy look in their eye. And, and they look stupid. I don't know what it is that you're talking about. They don't be knowing. <laughs> they don't know. The Ace of Pentacles and the Ace of Swords represents how a lot of you Aquarius have to understand that you need to stop wasting your time. Stop wasting your time. When someone doesn't understand the fine art of reciprocate, even them acting like they don't understand it's a dub, that means that those are not the people that you want to have around you. Either they are young in their level of understanding or they have reached a point to where more than likely they're not going to get out of their level of understanding this is the reason why it is 
that older individuals get with younger individuals because younger individuals, my dear Aquarius, have the capacity to be able to understand things at a higher level when you get them younger, legally, of course. 18 and up, I have to say that because you know, you, you know, you, you know, some nut jobs are gonna, you know, come into the comment section. Are you suggesting peace? Like, no. I'm talking about it in principle. And to, for that matter, no, 18 and older, 18 and older. Me personally, I'm not going to rock with somebody that's not at least 21. So the two of wands and the two of swords now represent. So um, uh, there is someone out there for you, okay? But they need their, you need to pay attention to their, their mentality, their mindset. The King of Cups, you Aquarius are great. Y'all are in a very great position because your the, the, the relationships that a lot of you are having are falling by the wayside. But the relationships that are falling by the wayside are the ones that are dysfunctional anyway.